Friends, family, esteemed watch enthusiasts, I have another watch. Again, I don't know what this is. It could be complete garbage, and I apologize if it is. I've had a bunch of really garbage watches coming in lately, so uh, this may be one of them. Doesn't even seem to be in a box, so we'll see what this is. All right. Grant Brown. Sounds like a... A guy who believes he has a fancy name and wants to sell watches. All right. Okay. Not disappointed. All right. I can tell obviously really cheap, but it's, this is a Grant Brown something. All right. Let's see if I can find a video, but probably not and then you'll be right back to talk to me. So I did a little bit of research uh, on Grant Brown. Uh, so it is a Texas-based company, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I thought that was really interesting. Now this is moving around because I don't have the uh, crown locked in. Um, I can't tell from where the watch is actually manufactured. I suspect it's probably made in China. Um, I will correct that if I find anywhere. It doesn't say anywhere where it was made. Um, so, hey, maybe it is made in Texas, and if it is, uh, I will definitely put that because that would be very cool. This would be an American-made watch. Um, so this is this one is known as the Trekker. Uh, I, of course, updated that in the first part of the video. Um, Grant Brown is based out of Texas. I wanted to see if it was like another one of these um, sort of nonsense watch companies, but uh, they have a two-year warranty, pretty decent. Uh, not bad. You can see the website down there at the bottom. I'll also put it at the top. Um, I I got this watch. Uh, I now know where I got this watch. I got this from Watch Gang's um, Tier 1 Budget Watch um, Wheel, I guess. Um, as with all the others, I think the total cost with shipping is about $63.00. Definitely got my money's worth from this watch. The watch feels good quality. Uh, it is sort of a... I mean, I don't know how well this, this finish will hold up. Uh, I, I forget what you call it. I'm sorry, but you can kind of see it's not brushed. It sort of uh, has a patina look. It's actually quite good. The leather strap is not at all bad. Uh, it is a leather strap, a two-piece. Um, it's uh, monogrammed. It's, uh, it's, it's all nice. Um, I actually quite like it. It's, it's, it's a little, little stiff, but you know, that'll, that'll work out, but it certainly feels fairly supple on the top. Uh, so I definitely like it. It's got crown guard, although this, this crown is definitely will catch on things. So I don't know that you would actually wear this, uh, if you were going to go fishing or trekking really, but it's a very nice watch. Uh, certainly good value for, for the price. Um, you know, you can see it's got, uh, let me move this out of the way because it doesn't really matter what the date is, but you know, you can see here, um, you've got, let me see if I can change that. Well, I'll worry about it later. Um, I don't know what movement it has. It's a Japanese movement. I'll put pictures of it right up there, but I'm gonna have to open it later. It is not a screw down clasp, but it's a snap on, uh, snap back. So you know, it's what it is. Um, but again, you know, it's, it's, it's not, not a bad, bad looking watch. Um, it's all stainless steel. I doubt it's 316 stainless, but it's what it is. Um, 
Not that does shine. But it's 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 pretty nice. Uh, honestly, I mean, for, for like I said, for the $60, $63 shipped, it's really not bad. I mean, I definitely think I got my, my money's worth. Now, what I've started doing is I've started kind of giving me a, my opinion about what I think the watches are worth. I would say weight and quality, this is probably a, if I had to be completely honest, $69 watch. Uh, so I think I, I got my money's worth. Uh, I did get it from Watch Gang. So um, I paid what it's worth. And it has slightly unique styling, so, so I like that. It says Grant Brown on the, on the face, monogrammed on the, on the crown. It says it on the back, of course, on the leather strap. And in small print, it says it right there as well. Uh, I'm not expecting too much with the loom, so I'm not even going to shut it off. I'll just show you. Um, it looks like the only thing that really lights up is the, is the, uh, just the hands. That's it. So not even the second hand, but that's okay. Not much to it. I'm just going to get right into the measurements. No long, no reason to belabor it. I'm going to do, um, here 45 millimeter the lug i'm gonna say about 22 right let's see 24 okay 24 in the case depth i'm gonna say about 11 i'm always wrong with that 12 and a half okay and the lug to lug it's it's hard to do about 50 so we'll say 50 um but you know, very nice. I like it. Let's let's uh, let's weigh this sucker. Ninety grams, not bad at all. And you know, honestly, I don't need a box, so this actually works out really well. It's a nice little pouch. Um, I don't have a ton of waste. Um, now, Grant Brown has a mission statement, which I did not read, but I will read that and I will post it at the bottom. You can tell me what you think. I suspect it has something to do with uh, sustainability, uh, considering the fact that, um, you know, it's a leather strap, leather pouch. I didn't get a lot of junk with it, so that's probably pretty good. Again, I would be very surprised if this was made in the USA. I don't think it is. I guess assembled is the right word. Uh, what else can I talk about? Already measured it, weighed it. Um, yeah, all right, it's kind of nice. It's got a, a neat face. I'll show you the back. Uh, it is a 5 ATM, which is, uh, you know, 50 meter water resistant, which is pretty good. So it's not bad. I mean, you can basically, I, I don't really like to go swimming with a watch that, that's only 5 ATM. I don't think that's good. I think 100 meters is really where you're at. But you could certainly take a shower with it. I mean, it's a leather strap, so you probably wouldn't, probably really wouldn't even go trekking with this. I don't know why you'd wear this. Don't really know why they call it the tracker. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know. This is necessarily a watch I would personally buy, but I do like the color combination, and this would certainly work with some outfits if you were so inclined. So, all right. If you like this review, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thank you.